Hi, this is Janis from Noisebot, and I'm here to show you the new features in Smile 3.5. All the new features are hidden in the new transient recovery panel, which you open by activating the transient recovery. So I push that and you can see the new panel. And if you close the panel, it will also disable the transient recovery. So you need to have the panel open to use the transient recovery. And as in previous version, we have the preview bottom where you can listen to just or almost just the transient. It will still keep the, the audio, but on a really low level. So you can hear the real audio as well. So you know if it's a snare drum or whatever transient you are trying to recover, so it's easier to find. I will show you that later. The sense knob is exactly the same as before. It's uh, the amount of transients you want to recover. And the amount knob, it's a dry and wet control for, for the transient recovery. So if you had in a part of the song, don't want to recover as much transients or if the engine in Smile will find false transients then you can automate the amount to get rid of problematic areas. And then we have the attack and sustain which is uh, well controlled so that you can shape the transients. And this is a new LED as well. Uh, it's more like a guideline it's green when it receives the a signal that it's at a sensible level so it's like a guideline so try to keep that green as much as possible it's not a, it's not like a law so if you think it's better to find really few transients put this really low and it doesn't lit up green that's okay if you think that's what you want to do so it's more like a guideline to make it easier to set the right level and this LED was placed at a up here somewhere in the last in the previous version it's just it will lit up when the engine finds some transient so nothing weird okay and let's demo this. So what I'm gonna do first is to put the transient recovery in preview mode and I will start to erase the sense knob And now I can set the shape of the transients. Okay, I'm happy with that. Then I will end the preview mode and we start to use Smile as usual.
And that's the new features in Smile 3.5. Hope you will enjoy them and find them useful. And we'll see you with the next video. Have a good one. Goodbye.